Coach on the deep group back on the defensive line, led by Meredith Murphy, talked about having that senior back. Yeah, we, well, I'll tell you, we've never had um, this many liberos on our roster. Uh, the competition has been absolutely fierce in that position all year. And when Meredith Murphy was able to step up outside of that competition and really establish herself as number one, you know, you're confident that she, that she took on all comers to be able to do that. Yeah, you know, she's just steady. You know, she's gonna go out there. She's gonna pass a 2.4 just about every night. She's gonna get you some great digs, and she's gonna give you the leadership on the floor that you need to have in that libero position. I think one of the most underrated things that she does is she handles the ball so well, and she can set an out of system ball every time our setter digs. Um, Danny Harrison has never been in the kind of contention that she's in to be the starting libero right now. We have two starting liberos. And uh, Danny Harrison really uh, has pushed Meredith, uh, almost making Meredith the best that she's ever been. So I'm really comfortable with either one of those two playing libero at any moment for us because I don't think we lose anything having either one of them on the floor. So obviously Danny will be a, a defensive specialist for us. Uh, she played every single match last year, and I, I can't imagine a situation where Danny's not going to be playing every match for us this year. Uh, Roxy Mendez continues to train in all three defensive positions. Her serve-receive continues to improve. The thing is that she's probably one of our best defensive players on the floor. Um, so once her serve-receive matches up with her defensive prowess, I think that she's going to be uh, very much in contention for time at the libero spot. Two newcomers this year. Uh, Danny Jenkins comes to us from over in Tampa, and she's still learning the ropes, and I think she's realizing that the college game is a much faster uh, even more athletic game than what she was playing in high school and club. And so I think once she gets that learning curve down, then the growth and the maturity process will begin for her. Casey Thompson comes to us from Austin, Texas, and the Austin Juniors Volleyball Club. And uh, that was one of the top five club programs in the entire country last year. So she has kind of a leg up on the competition in terms of high-level background coming into UCF. But again, she's finding that the speed of the college game is a lot faster. The serves are a lot tougher. Uh, and the digs are a lot harder to get than what they were in high school and club. So I think she'll accommodate. It's going to be pretty fast. Uh, right now, you know, she's trying to put herself in position that she can get some play time in the back row and also preparing herself, you know, for a, a career hopefully as our starting libero somewhere down the road. Uh, but I think the younger players are finding it. Uh, it's a lot tougher to play college volleyball than, than what they were. And, and really, in my experience, it takes a good 18 months to 24 months to really learn that position and be able to excel in it. So, but in terms of depth, I mean, we're really in a great position.